All right, so today we're gonna make um, crackpot pulled pork. It's the easiest pulled pork you'll ever do. I mean, I'm guessing, but I don't know if it can get any easier than this. So I found this on, no, I didn't find this. Uh, my sister-in-law did this <clears throat> for one of her, for her son's birthday party. And uh, she was telling me about it and I totally forgot. And then I saw Lauren Layton's um, root beer um, pulled pork. So I remembered, so I just Googled it really fast. And all it is is uh, pretty much the same thing that Lauren Layton did. But it's just um, a Diet Pepsi. <laughs> I have a roll back here. <laughs> yep, that's me. <laughs> I have a bottle of Sweet Baby Ray's, and it says um, Lowry's Season Salt. I don't have that, and I don't like buying things just for one recipe, so I'm just going to do some salt and garlic powder, um, and I have, it. this says for two and a half pounds, you would use half this bottle and one can, but I'm going to do a close to six pound um, Boston butt roast, so and it was only 11 11 76 so we're doing this now and we can have it for dinner tonight and then my husband can have it for lunch for leftovers and then a leftover night you know one day this week as well so let's get started all right so i'm gonna put some of my garlic powder i'm pretty sure you can just do whatever it's pretty much all they have <laughs> whatever you like it really matters. And then salt. And then I use um I use sea salt. And pepper. Alright, so let's pour. I'm gonna do the barbecue first. I've probably been smarter to mix these in here first and then put it in there, but I'm just not that smart. So now you guys know. Okay, so we're just going to squirt it all on top. Sweet Baby Ray's is my favorite, so you can just use um, whatever you like. This just seems so weird to me, but I've had it, so I know it's good. Push it down. This one does have a bone in it, so um, once you just watch out if you get one with a bone, you can just pull it out once you start pulling the pork. We're going to do this for Noah's um, birthday because we can do two crock pots and we actually probably could do just one this size and it would feed everybody. But you know, we can do two crock pots and have them going. Um, while we're setting up for the party and then um, and it's really cheap I mean eleven dollars for six pounds I and mean, that wasn't even on sale so if you get a good sale then you're good and I didn't leave this upside down so I'm just gonna um, put the top back on my barbecue sauce and just let it all drain down to the bottom but all you just gonna do is cook it on low let's see four hours or so so I'm gonna do like eight hours because I have double I have a timer on mine. And once mine has a timer, so once it's done, timed, uh, it's great for like working moms. Um, it just switches straight off to uh, keep warm. So if you're doing something on high, then it won't actually burn. Uh, and then I found with, I think it was like the crock pot girls or whatever, they said that um, this heat from a crock pot, the low and high 
low and high temperature is the same temperature. It's just the, how fast that it gets to that temperature, which I didn't realize that. So it's the same temperature no matter which one you use. It's just high, it gets hotter faster, and then low is just a lower, you know, you know, time to get to that temperature. So I thought that was pretty interesting. So I will show you guys tonight what it looks like. Look at this beauty. See, you can just pull the bone right out. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just show watermelon. Yummy, yummy. So now I'm going to make some coleslaw and then we're going to eat it.